Welcome back to Coding Goblin and welcome back to another video of my face. I have been a bit of a hypocrite and I am sorry about that and I am going to explain exactly why I have been a hypocrite at the end of this video and why I've been a hypocrite and hopefully you can forgive me. But first I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had an idea and thought to yourself, hmm, if I do this idea, if I follow through, this is going to be really good for my business, this is going to be good for getting clients, this is going to do well, this is going to help me. But then you've realized it's actually quite a lot of effort and the amount of effort has put you off from actually following through and doing it. I have, <laughs> believe it or not. And I want to tell you the story of a time where I actually had a really good idea and I actually implemented it and saw results, but I gave up on it because it was so much effort and that's stupid and how you can learn from me being stupid and not be stupid yourself. So I build a lot of stuff on the internet, a lot of coded stuff, products, online products. And one of the things that I have really specialized in over the years is these things that I like to call estimate calculators or estimate tools. And what it essentially is, is a form that goes on your website. It asks the user a series of questions. And then at the end of it, it asks you to enter your email address and you enter your email address and then it will send you an online estimate or a quote based on the answers to your questions. So this is really good for service-based businesses, so plumbers, electricians, cleaning companies, house clearance companies, um, all these sort of service trades type businesses. So I build them, it's not important how I build them, but I build them using Vue.js. I have in the past built them using HTML and PHP. But I build them in various ways. Now how I do it is I use Vue.js, not the point of this video. Now, I got to a time, I think it was 2001 or 2002, I can't remember, and I had what I thought was a really good idea of how to sell these tools. And the, what, the way I came up with it was, if I build a very simple version of one of these tools, estimate systems, and make it so that it's very easy for me to customize, and then I can put the logo of a company on it and change the branding of it to match a company's website uh, and do this very easily and then do a screen recording of me using it and send this screen recording to that company through social media so they can see, wow, look, this looks really good and it's got my branding on it and they would hopefully then want to buy it from me. And what I did was... I created this, I made it so it was very easy to customize, and I got to work with gathering contact details and social media accounts of as many cleaning companies as I could. So I, I did it in the industry of cleaning companies. In hindsight, not, not the greatest industry to do it in because not loads of mon money and marketing budget to be spent on website, fancy website things. But you live and learn, you live and learn. So <laughs> I made this simple version and I made it really easy to customize. And I had this list of about 100 uh, companies that I was going to target. And I started going through this list. And it was very time consuming. So I had to get the logo of this company, save that logo, add it to a version of the tool, uh, change the branding colors of the tool, do a screen recording of the tool, and then send it to the company through social media and send a personalized message. And I also wanted to change the message each time because I didn't want to get blocked from, uh, I was doing it through Facebook predominantly. I didn't want to get blocked for spam. And I, my logic was if I'm sending the same message, identical copy and paste, then it's going to flag as spam probably. I don't know, uh, but I imagine it would. So I was customizing the message each time and I wanted to make it personalized as well. I wanted to make it, hey, like, and I would get the name of the, person whose business it was and talk about their specific business so yeah i can't remember the exact number that i sent out but I, I think i spent a day or two days maybe doing this process and spoiler alert i didn't make any sales but the response rate was actually pretty good and people were actually quite interested and i had people saying oh this this is something that i would consider in the future but i just don't have the money um Whereas I've done similar things before without going to the same effort of giving them a customized screen recording with their branding on it and had 
virtually zero responses. So what I learned from this was, yeah, it was quite a lot of effort to do, but the response rate was good enough to make it worthwhile. And had I potentially tweaked this slightly and done the exact same thing with a different industry where maybe the businesses had more marketing budget or more of a budget that they would be willing to put towards their website or just more money flowing around in general, then it might have had a more success. It might have worked better. So the problem I had was I only did this for a day or two. And you can imagine you're not going to get these instant results if you're going to do it for such a short amount of time. You need to do it for months and years to actually see it being worthwhile. Years is a bit extreme. Obviously, you want to see that it's working before you put in five years. If you're doing that for five years and you're not making one sale, then that's probably the sign, the time, the sign, the sign to do something different or tweak it massively. But in hindsight, I could do it again and change the industry, um, and it could possibly work. But I didn't put in enough of a time to see the results, and therefore I didn't get any results. So. I guess the point I'm trying to make is if you've got an idea of something you want to do and you think it will work and you've got this theory in your head and maybe you've spoken to people and they've said, oh, I'm not sure. But if you can see the vision, then you really need to go for it and just do it because I could see that vision and I had spoken to people about it who had suggested that maybe it wasn't the best approach at doing it because it was so time consuming and maybe I should look at um, using advertising or a different method. But I just knew how powerful it could be, but I still didn't persist with it. And I wish I did back then because I would now have that experience and I would now know whether or not I should continue doing it. Whereas now, if I want to do it again, I have to go through it and put in that prolonged period of time when I could have done it previously and figured it out back then. So I now have a decision, do I do that again or do I not? And realistically, I'm probably not going to do that exact method anytime soon because I'm on a different path right now. Um, and I can see that it's working quite well. But I've been, when we talk about consistency, I've been very consistent with doing this YouTube stuff. So I've been putting out a video virtually every day for a couple of months now, maybe even three months, maybe, I don't know. But it only took for me to make that decision of, ah, if I put in consistent work, <laughs> you see growth and it's so true. And I've experienced that with this YouTube channel massively. When I've actually put in the consistent videos, done a video virtually every day, you see the numbers increase. Funny that, isn't it? So yeah, if you've got an idea for something, you really should try it, but don't just try it for a day or two days. Try it for a prolonged period of time because it's only after that prolonged period of time you, you will see the results, most likely anyway. And also, when you give something a prolonged period of time, you improve in what you're doing. You become more efficient. Your output is a higher quality. So it's really worth doing. It's like any skill. The more you do it, the better you get, the quicker you get. So I don't know what this might relate to with you, but maybe you've got a service you offer and you can think of a way of marketing that that's maybe a bit different or not the standard way of doing it. Then do it. Just go for it. But make sure you put in a consistent amount of time um, and you'll have a way better chance of seeing results, good results. So yeah, that's that. I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did something hypocritical and <laughs> I'm going to tell you what that is. So in a video I put out a few days ago, uh, I basically said one of my rules for becoming more successful or things that have made me more successful was deleting Instagram. And I absolutely stand by that. And that is because I just can't control my usage on there. Once I go on there, I get a bit lost in the, in there and I'm like sucked into the algorithm. It knows how to keep you on there basically. But saying that, I have created an Instagram account or I have reactivated Instagram account. So the reason for that is I realized I don't really have a way of being contacted very efficiently other than email. And I don't have 
direct messages that I use and Instagram seems to be a good way of doing that um, and I think it's just going to be a different audience as well um, and a, a good opportunity to just be posting some short form content rather than the long content on here I know you can do it on YouTube as well but I kind of want to keep it separate um, and yeah just keep it separate so saying that if you can control yourself and you're not addicted to Instagram follow me on Instagram if you can't control yourself do not open Instagram <laughs> okay only if you can control yourself do this okay so I'll pop my Instagram on the screen maybe I have already um, it's just at coding goblin um, so yeah feel free to give me a follow also feel free to not give me a follow if you can't control yourself also do all that YouTube stuff like the video subscribe to the video <laughs> subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment let me know if you want to be doing something that you need to put consistent time into um, don't you don't have to reveal your secret if it's a secret or something you think might have value but let me know um, if you have experienced this that you gave something a go for one day and then you didn't follow through but you know that if you did you'd probably be in a much better situation so let me know thanks for watching do all that stuff Maybe do the Instagram stuff if you can control yourself. If not, don't. No hard feelings. I, I put a story up there today, so just gave it a go. Um, I feel like a bit of a... Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing on Instagram. It's quite funny. So, uh, yeah, you'll see that if you look at my story. All right, bye.